Hello, I'm Dana Ford, head coach of the Tennessee State Tigers men's basketball team, and I'd like to invite you to be a part of the Rebound Foundation game that takes place February 16th at the Gentry Center at 8 p.m. Central and can be seen on ESPNU. The mission of the Rebound Foundation is to provide the necessary building blocks for women and children recovering from domestic violence. You can make a contribution without being at the game at pledgeit.org, TSU Rebound Challenge. To find out more information about the Rebound Foundation, visit www.thereboundfound.org. You can also follow us on social media at the handle The Rebound Foundation. Help the Tigers stand up against domestic violence by pledging to end it. For all your photo, video, and voiceover needs, check out the fine folks at Blu-ray Productions. They will take good care of you. If you don't believe me, you can see for yourself. Check out their work at BlueberryProductions.tv, the Facebook page, Blueberry Productions, also a Vimeo page, a YouTube page, and it's Blueberry, B-L-U-B-E-R-R-Y, Prod on Twitter. Check them out today. Blueberry Productions, great people, great work, great service. Fantasy football season is fast approaching, and if you're looking for an edge this season, you need to contact the guys at Draft Day Consultants. The concept is a simple one. Draft Day Consultants takes your requests and connects you with one of their trusted analysts, who then guide you through your draft, whether you just need a sounding board on decisions, or if you need them to conduct your entire draft. Draft Day Consultants has you covered. Every one of their consultants has a proven track record of success, and have conducted hundreds, even thousands of mock drafts. Thanks to this year-round research and analysis, the guys at DDC have an unmatched understanding of player values. So gain an edge on your league mates this season by hitting up DraftDayConsultants.com. That's www.DraftDayConsultants.com. Now get after it, fantasy footballers. Hip-hop fans, I got a great album for you. The debut album from Family Grinding NC, True Speech, and 313 Fresh. We're going to give you two discs, 33 songs of pure, genuine hip-hop. Albums available on iTunes, Amazon, Google Play, IllStreetRex.com, and streaming live right now on Rhapsody, Beats Music, Spotify, Xbox Music, Slacker Radio, and SoundCloud. Check them out today, True Speech and 313 Fresh, Family Grind ENT. Believe in it, get it. In the JR the Boss Man Show, and we're joined by former guests on the show, uh, current Vanderbilt Commodores head coach, coming off a big win at Arkansas in Fayetteville. Coach Bryce Drew on the show. Coach, got to love that win you got there the other night, man. Your team got the job done, man, for you on the road there. Hey, any win is a good win, especially in conference season. You know, uh, our guys, uh, we took a tough loss to Arkansas last time we played them, and they were really motivated to, to right the wrong from that last game. Yes, indeed. And the coach, like I said, I was at that game, and I pretty much, you guys should have won that game against Arkansas at your trail play. So, did you kind of feel good knowing that, knowing that you played them guys so well at your place? You could probably get the job done out there and update Arkansas at their place. Yeah, it definitely gave us uh, some confidence going in that we played so well, you know, for 37 minutes. Um, we knew that in their building, you know, they play even better, and it's a really tough place to play, one of the top five toughest statistically in the country. And uh, our guys really came in focused and really – um, kept the lead, which is a hard thing to do, especially on the road in conference. And coach, it moves you to five and six, six in conference play. You got a pack of teams there with you, with Alabama seven and four, six, six and five teams. You're five and six. So, how much do you stress to your team about the standings? You just kind of just play, play get each one game, one game at a time, and just let the standings do what they do. When you are out of tournament seasons later, you know we we've been playing good basketball lately, and um, our big focus is we want to keep trending up. We want to keep. Um, improving as a team and, and, and playing good basketball. You know, sometimes um, some of those games at the end, they, they bounce your way. Sometimes they don't. We've definitely had a few that have not gone our way. But I think our team's been resilient in responding, and hopefully we can keep that approach through the rest of the year. 
And Coach, speaking of keeping that approach, you play Missouri, a team has not had the best record that they want to have this year. And how do you keep your guys motivated? Not out to look at them and say, "Hey, this team is one in ten in conference play." They just play the, they, you, your game. How you coach them to play? Not get complacent and say, "Hey, we got this game because we're because we're Vandy and playing at Missouri is having a bad year." You know, Missouri's had a lot of close games. They're just coming off their last home game, uh, which they beat Arkansas, which was a, a quality win, and so. You know, we know that we're going to have to go in and, and play at a high level and, and, and play really well. And once you get a conference season, there's, there's no easy game. You know, every game you have to be ready to be at your best. And looking at Missouri, you know, they beat Arkansas, you used to beat Arkansas. You kind of copy what they did. You kind of do do what you do no matter what. Or you don't take some things from that Missouri did. Maybe they hit, like Arkansas did play against them. Maybe they say, hey, we can put this in our system to play these guys and we get this win up there at Columbia. You know, you definitely pay attention to what other teams do to see um, if there's any common, you know, threads that, that you could do that would be an easy overlap. Uh, but the majority of the part is we want to do what we do and, and try to do it well. And so, you know, there's a little bit of both in that, but more of a, a precedence on us and, and, and what we want to do. And I know we talked to you in September. Uh, since September to now, Coach, who are some guys in your mind really has, has gotten better every day that since you've been the coach now and you're really proud of their play this year so, so far? You know, our, our strength coach and our athletic trainer have done a fabulous job helping with the health of our players. Um, you know, this spring we only had three healthy guys, and I think the players being healthy has allowed them to work on their game to improve and, and get better. And, and so, you know, I think collectively across the board, you know, every player I really see, see, feel is playing at a different level than, than what they were early on. And I think that's coming out in some of the wins that we've been able to get here lately. And how much has adjustment been for you, Coach, coming new in this conference, kind of get used to the teams that you're playing and so see what, how their styles are messaged with, with your style of play. So how has it been going to the conference for the first time here? You know, it's a great league, and there's, there's a lot of really good teams. You know, I, I think that, um, our league continues to get better and better. If you look at the Big 12 Challenge, you know, almost winning that challenge is a great indicator that of the improvement in our league. And you know, being a first-year coach, you know, it's, it's, it's been um, you know great because we've done different things that they haven't seen, and and obviously we're seeing things you know for the first time. And and hopefully this stuff will you know help prepare us and our team for the future. And speaking of transitioning and getting better, coach, uh, since we talked in September. Uh, what's been the biggest difference in your program you've seen for just since we last time we, we spoke to each other on, on the show here? Because I feel like you've done a great job. I've seen the guys buying into your system. I feel like fans are buying into you. What's been the biggest difference for you since we talked back in September? Well, appreciate that, Jr. We, we've been working hard at it, you know, collectively across the board from from coaches to players to managers to, to support staff, uh, you know, to, to everyone involved. And, and so, you know, the biggest thing I think goes back to the health. You know, we, we were really banged up and and guys have gotten healthy, and as they've gotten healthy, they've been able to perform at a higher level. They've also been able to play a lot more minutes in games, which which has really helped us. You know, the next part is, you know, we did tweak our offense um, at the start of the year, and then we tweaked it again as the season went on a little bit to, to go the strength more to our guys. And, and I think that's really helped our flow. We've really um, uh, moved the ball well on offense, and um, we're executing um, very well with what we want to do. And, Coach, I want to tell you, I really like how Luke Cornett has really helped you in your staff transition. I mean, him being a senior leader to help the new guys buy into your system and being an old guy with Coach Allen's to buy into your system. I think it's a, a testament to Luke and his leadership skills to getting guys to buy into you and get everybody on the same page and get ready to represent Van Van the way you want them to anchor down over there on West End. <laughs> yeah, you know, J.R., uh, Luke Spoles, he has a coach. He, um, he has a, never has a bad day of practice. And you never have to worry about his effort or uh, or his attitude. And when you throw into him, you know, playing at such a high level now with, with shooting the ball, passing, rebounding, blocking shots, you know, he's a huge part of, of why we've played so much better here the last couple of months. You know, it's because of his leadership and because of his play. Yeah, Coach, I, I know I, I, I've been watching your games on, on my phone. I try to watch on my phone to catch you guys play. I see him always making a difference on the court, on both ends of the floor, setting your defense, getting the key to your offense. And Riley's getting better as well. I mean, I'll, I'll tell you, Coach, I love, love what I've seen from you guys. I think you're going to get hot at the right time here and checking things up in the SEC going down this road here to March. Well, we're ready. We're ready. You know, we've been playing good basketball. Hopefully we can string together a good couple of weeks here and, um, and, and create a little buzz. 
And coach, uh, before you go, do you have any kids uh, in Atlanta here you're looking at down here? Maybe you want to bring up the Nashville your way. And, and since you've been in Nashville, can you kind of notice how close it is everything that you want to get to up in Kentucky, go out to Memphis, Arkansas, Alabama, Charlotte? It's real close everything you want to get to. And can you drive it? Now you have to fly it. Yeah, the, the great thing is Nashville is such a great destination city. There's so much to do, a little bit for everybody. And and the great thing about Vanderbilt is, you know, it's a national name that you can recruit to. So, you know, all the cities you mentioned and many more, uh, we want a presence in and hopefully be able to get players here. Well, Coach, wish you the best of luck down in Missouri. Coach, look for the senior real soon, man. Definitely see that tournament for sure, but I'll definitely be up there before that, hopefully, Coach. And I'll tell you, Coach, anchor down. I look forward to seeing you guys win some more games, man. Sounds good, Jr. Thank you. Anchor down. No, oh, hey, Coach. It's Coach Roger Drew on the Boss Man Show. I'm Dana Ford, head coach of the Tennessee State Tigers men's basketball team, and I'd like to invite you to be a part of the Rebound Foundation game that takes place February 16th at the Gentry Center at 8 p.m. Central and can be seen on ESPNU. The mission of the Rebound Foundation is to provide the necessary building blocks for women and children recovering from domestic violence. You can make a contribution without being at the game at pledgeit.org, TSU Rebound Challenge, to find out more information about The Rebound Foundation, visit www.thereboundfound.org. You can also follow us on social media at the handle The Rebound Foundation. Help the Tigers stand up against domestic violence by pledging to end it. all your photo, video, and voiceover needs, check out the fine folks at Blu-ray Productions. They will take good care of you. If you don't believe me, you can see for yourself. Check out their work at blueberryproductions.tv, the Facebook page, Blueberry Productions, also a Vimeo page, a YouTube page, and it's Blueberry, B-L-U-B-E-R-R-Y, prod on Twitter. Check them out today. Blueberry Productions, great people, great work, great service. Fantasy football season is fast approaching, and if you're looking for an edge this season, you need to contact the guys at Draft Day Consultants. The concept is a simple one. Draft Day Consultants takes your requests and connects you with one of their trusted analysts, who then guide you through your draft, whether you just need a sounding board on decisions, or if you need them to conduct your entire draft. Draft Day Consultants has you covered. Every one of their consultants has a proven track record of success, and have conducted hundreds, even thousands of mock drafts. Thanks to this year-round research and analysis, the guys at DDC have an unmatched understanding of player values. So gain an edge on your league mates this season by hitting up DraftDayConsultants.com. That's www.DraftDayConsultants.com. Now get after it, fantasy footballers. Hip-hop fans, I got a great album for you. The baby album from Family Grind ENC, True Speech, and 313 Fresh. We're going to give you two discs, 33 songs of pure, genuine hip-hop. Albums available on iTunes, Amazon, Google Play, IllStreetRex.com, and streaming live right now on Rhapsody, Beats Music, Spotify, Xbox Music, Slacker Radio, and SoundCloud. Check them out today, True Speech and 313 Fresh, Family Grind ENT. Believe in it, get it.